What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, former unified WBC, WBA, welterweight world champion superstar boxer Keith One Time Thurman once again calls out former three division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, and currently the WBO welterweight world champion. Widely considered the pound-for-pound -pound best fight in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. He says to send the contract over. Terrence, Pro Terrence Crawford's promoter, legendary promoter and CEO of top rank, Bob Arum, said that Keith Thurman is asking for a lot, a ton of money that's just not there. Today's time is just not realistic due to uh, the way sports and, you know, due to the pandemic, the way there's no live fans at live sporting events. There's just not that much money that normally is there for a Keith Thurman fight. So Bob Arum says that he leans more towards the Kell Brook fight because he feels like, you know, uh, Kell Brook gave Errol Spence undefeated, unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer. He gave Errol Spence a tough fight, and he thinks that'd be a, a great fight for Terrence Crawford at this point in time. With that said, Terrence Crawford uh, took, took the social media at once upon a time when Keith Thurman first made mention of Terrence Crawford's name and Terrence Crawford said, you are just pretty much capping. He says that if we send a contract, we know that you'll play games or find a way to wiggle out of the contract and the fight. So stop using my name as promotion. Uh, okay, so Keith Thurman, fast forward to today. Keith Thurman, well, fast forward to yesterday uh, where Keith Thurman did an interview and Keith Thurman stated that for Terrence Crawford to sign the contract. He says that if Terrence Crawford is truly serious, send over a contract, I'll sign the contract live on Instagram live. So Keith Thurman says that don't don't pretend to duck me. Uh, I mean, don't pretend that I'm ducking you. Send me a contract and let's see how it works. And I'll sign it live on Instagram for all the fans and for everybody to see that I'm not ducking Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford has done nothing at the welterweight division for me to duck him. He says, I'll fight Terrence Crawford by Christmas time. He says, they go your Christmas present. So Keith Thurman is saying, sign the contract. He's saying uh, he wants Terrence Crawford fans because they have, you know, different fan bases. So he's feeling like maybe there's fans out there on Terrence Crawford's side that don't know who Keith Thurman is or think that Keith Thurman is avoiding him. So Keith Thurman says, sign the contract. Let's just listen to what Keith Thurman had to say regarding this situation and what he thinks about um, Terrence Crawford saying that, you know, he, he wouldn't, you know, Keith Thurman wouldn't truly sign the contract to fight him. Send the contract. Send the contract. Let me post it on IG and sign it live, baby. Sign it live. Let me, be, let me, let me get my first contract live. I'll do my first signing live, baby. You know what I mean? Because... They don't know me. Crawford called me out like that, saying that about me. You don't know me, man. You don't know what kind of contracts I've had in my face. I've never been presented with a contract with a real fight, man. You know? So you hear what he said. He said that Terrence Crawford... He don't know him. His pretty much his fan base don't know him, and he's never been presented. Terence Crawford has never been in negotiations with him. Uh, meaning Keith Thurman saying that Terence Crawford has never been in negotiations with him. So how will he know how he will respond in negotiations? Uh, should Terence Crawford send him a contract, and um, you know they the you know uh, he's presented with a contract. He don't know Terence Crawford don't know what it's like to negotiate with him. So how is he going to tell the world he's turning it down? Um, this is a, a, a big fight, in my opinion. Uh, Keith Thurman said that, you know, um, he his hand is 80%. His left hand says he wasn't able to use the left hook in the fight with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, he said he was very wary of it. He said, but now he he's able to use his left hand. And uh, he would definitely, definitely... Uh, he said it's 80 percent. And by, you know, November, December, Terrence Crawford is uh, pegged to come back November 14th. Um, but by November, December, he's saying that his hand will be 100 percent. And that's a fight. He only wants title fights or he wants uh, fights that's on, on going to get him on a path to title. So title eliminator fights. So he says that um, he wants title fights or title eliminator fights. And if presented with a contract from Terrence Bud Crawford, uh, and his team uh, and Bob Arum that he would definitely sign the contract and give Terrence Crawford a Christmas gift for him. So uh, Terrence Crawford, like I said, um, 
Bob Arum stated that, you know, he feels uh, that Kell Brook is a more um, uh, realistic option due to the fact that I guess Kell Brook is not looking for big money like he's saying Keith Thurman is looking for due to the pandemic, due to there not being any live gates. Uh, he says that, you know, it's just difficult, you know, to stage this type of fight. He just feels like Kell Brook is a better option right now, right? So Bob Arum is saying that, you know, um, as far as the money is able to be paid out, you know, it's easier to uh, stage a fight with Kell Brook and, um, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford at this point in time. Like I said, because I feel like Kell Brook uh, is not, um, you know, uh, demanding a lot of money. Uh, on top of that, Bob Arum has admitted uh, Thurman's people called about Crawford fight, but money demands are too high. This is what Bob Arum had to say. He says, Thurman's people, quote, Thurman's people got in touch with me, but they're out, of, out to lunch, meaning that they're, they're, their head is in the sky. They're not being realistic, right? And he says, they have such crazy expectations that just don't exist anymore. Their money demands are crazy. They said they were free agents, which I'm sure they are. But again, who's going to pay what they're looking for, right? So this is what Bob Arum had to say. Uh, he says, Brooke is, Brooke is a very good opponent. Uh, he says, uh, Brooke fought Errol Spence and gave him a good fight. So you see, he's, he says, Brooke is um, more realistic in this situation to land a, a Terrence Crawford fight because, and he admits that Keith Thurman team did contact him, did reach out for this fight. Uh, so, there, so as far as people saying that Terrence Crawford is being avoided and people are ducking Terrence Crawford, that's just not true. You see guys are lining up right now to fight Terrence Crawford. They want to make the fight happen. And these are big fights for Terrence Crawford. Keith Thurman versus Terrence Crawford is a huge fight. I know Terrence Crawford recently came out and said that what is Keith, uh, Keith Thurman is not relevant anymore due to the fact that uh, Manny Pacquiao beat him and took his title. Well, Jeff Horn, yes, I understand that fight because Jeff Horn had beat Manny Pacquiao and you fought Jeff Horn, your first fight at welterweight, to become the WBO champion. But then you fought Jose Benavidez, and what has he done? He was never a champion, never even fought for a major sanctioned body. Uh, then you fought Amir Khan. Um, uh, so that fight, I like the Amir Khan fight because you can't discredit Amir Khan, but at the same time, you got to look and say Amir Khan was, never, was nowhere near the same fighter he used to be. Um, and then you fought, you know, um, Igus Kavaluskas, the meme machine. Right? So these are Terrence Crawford's four fights at welterweight. Jeff Horn, Jose Benavidez, Amir Khan, and then Igus Kavaluskas. So you got to look at it from this standpoint that three out of those last four never even fought. I mean, uh, two out of, the, out of the four never fought for a world title. That was Igus Kavaluskas' first time competing for a major sanctioned body against Terrence Crawford. Um... Jose Benavidez never competed for it. And Amir Khan was far past his prime, far removed from his prime, far removed from the guy we know uh, to be great. So, you know, this is these are big fights that you have to take to, you know, um, you know, to fill your legacy and uh, validate yourself as the pound for pound king. Um, when you look at Errol Spence, he's fighting Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is a former world title holder, just like Keith Thurman. But Danny Garcia has two losses. Keith Thurman has one. That coming at the hands of eight-division world champion, legendary, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, right? Who is the now the WBA champion due to him beating Keith Thurman? Uh, and then you look at, you know, um, the, the history of Amir Khan. Amir Khan was knocked out by Danny Garcia, who Keith Thurman beat. Uh, Amir Khan was knocked out by Canelo Alvarez. Amir Khan was knocked out by Bredis Prescott. You know, Amir Khan, you know, was in tough fights with guys that he shouldn't, you would never, a guy with the skill set of his would never, um, he should never be in, he should be outclassing, right? He lost to Lamont Peterson. You know, whether you think he lost the fight or won the fight, it was a very, very close fight. And a guy with the skills of Amir Khan should have been able to outclass Lamont Peterson, right? You One would think. So, at the end of the day, you can't dismiss uh, and discredit Keith Thurman, whose only loss came at the hands of an iconic legend in Manny Pacquiao. So this is a big fight. Um, let's see how this all plays out. I like the Kell Brook fight for Terrence Crawford as well. Kell Brook, a former world champion at the welterweight division. But Kell Brook is not the level of Keith Thurman right now. Kell Brook uh, hasn't had 
actually, you look at the resumes of Kell Brook and Keith Thurman, it's not even close. Kell Brook's biggest win in his career was Sean Porter fight, who Keith Thurman also beat. Uh, after that, he fought Gennady Golovkin, he lost. He fought Errol Spence, he lost. Keith Thurman has beaten Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, been in there with Manny Pacquiao. You know, so Keith Thurman is credible. So, uh, and his resume and his accomplishments is going to, you know, um, obviously uh, call for him to make more money in a fight than Kell Brook. Kell Brook, since losing to Errol Spence, hasn't fought at the welterweight division. Not to mention Kell Brook um, uh, has had two major injuries since uh, uh, um, the major injury to Gennady Golovkin when he dared to be great going up to middleweight and an injury to Errol Spence. Uh, then he hasn't fought a significant fight since then and hasn't fought at the welterweight division. So, you know, um, you, when comparing the two, it's not even close. So let's see how this all plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.